Let's talk smile lines. It's one of those things that we all love to hate and you're either really good at them or you're not. What I would like to help you do is break your smile line down into puzzle pieces. So we're gonna pick up our bead and having great mix ratio is really gonna be one of the big keys to making the smile line easier to do and the bead easier to control. So if we look at this bead, you see that? Is that wet, dry, or just right? If you guess dry, good job. Wet, dry, or just right? Can you see that the surface is shiny but pitted? So that's just right. The first thing I want you to do, let me see if I can, is angle your brush back. So when you place your bead, your brush is angled back compared to the tip. What you're doing is laying in the shape at the extension edge in zone one. So I don't want you to worry about the smile itself. The only thing I want you to do on puzzle piece one is angle your brush back. So I'm pressing and guiding the bead from side to side. And if you look at it from the top, see I'm not worried about anything except pressing from side to side and keeping my brush angled back. Notice that I'm working with the flags of the brush. And notice that that's creating an angle. See how that's starting to ramp up from the extension edge? And what shape are we gonna want our nail to take? We're gonna want it to ramp up from the extension edge. So go ahead and do four or five tips like this, just to get the feel for holding your brush at that back angle. Hit pause, do four or five tips, and let's move on to the next puzzle piece. The next piece of our puzzle is gonna be keeping the brush back, pushing the product from side to side. Notice that I press and guide it. Press and guide it. And I'm taking my flags up to the smile line, but I'm not pushing beyond it. So my focus is holding the brush at an angle. Can you see the angle? And it's also keeping the flags right at the edge of the smile line, but not going beyond it. And it's okay if you do it straight across. If you wanna start trying to push up some little ears, you can but I want your focus to be going up to that line and not past it. Because if you look at this from the side, when we come in, it's gonna create that angle. See that little lip that it's making to butt my pink up against? If I take my bristles over the top of that lip, see how it's gonna press that flat? And now I'm not gonna have that lip to butt my pink up against and my nail's not gonna ramp up as neatly. Also, if you look at this, it's a blob mess, and so I'm gonna have pink all up in my white creating that gray shadow area. So take your bristles all the way up to that line, but don't go over the top of that line. Go ahead and do that on four or five tips, and then we'll move on to the next piece of the puzzle. For our next piece, we're now going to combine keeping the brush angle back, keeping the flags behind the line, and we're gonna start pressing up towards the sides. So press, press, come over to the other side and start pressing. We're not worried about filling in the rest of the nail, we're just worried about keeping the brush angled back bringing the flags up to the smile line, but not beyond it. 
and pushing our corners up into place. Notice as I work towards a corner that my brush turns so that the flatter part of the bristles goes in and pushes up that corner. Notice how much play time I've had. That comes from a good mix ratio. So when you're just starting out, it really pays off to practice your mix ratio because it will make everything else that you practice easier. This nail doesn't have to look perfect. I just want you to practice keeping your brush angled back, going up to but not beyond the smile line, and starting to push your corners up into the sides. Do that on four or five nails and we'll come back and do the next step. For the next step, we're going to set it down, start pressing immediately to the corners, making sure our brush is angled back. We're going up to but not beyond the smile line. Then after we have our corners in place, we're going to press and guide product to the rest of the nail to fill in our corners at the extension edge and smooth the nail. So brush angled back, press and guide your smile line in, keep the flags behind the smile, press and guide the rest of the nail into place and smooth. Do that to four or five nails, and then the next step we're going to do is going to bring it to completion. Are you ready to take this all the way this time? Set it down. Press. Head for the corners. Keep your brush angled back. Head for the other corner. Press like you mean it. Press and guide it into place. Work the smile in. Go up to but not beyond the smile line with your flags. Turn the brush as you work towards the sides to thin out that side. Press product to the rest of the nail. Smooth. Dry your brush out completely and then you can come in and tuck your imperfections. Unless you did it perfect. In that case, we don't like you. You're too good at this. The rest of us need some tucking. No, I'm just kidding. Congratulations if you didn't need any tucking. That's really awesome. I'm impressed. And it's just barely tucking because we don't want to alter the smile line that we created. We just want to perfect it. And if you have a little bulge, you can just press them in and fix it. So I hope that helps bring all the pieces together. Now you can see that it comes down towards the extension edge. You've got your nice ridge to butt the pink up against and it's going to be a more crisp line. I hope this helps you with your smile lines. Have fun.